Hi, this is your friend and brother Ferdinand welcoming you to Truth in Brief and we have been looking at the enlarged life. Remember to share these videos with other people because you see, God has a life that is beyond ordinary for you as a born again child of God, for a life that is beyond your own needs, your own concerns. And I want us to see in this edition from Proverbs chapter 30 and then 2 Corinthians chapter 9, two very different perspectives and why it's important that we enlarge our hearts for the things that God wants to do in our lives. So uh, Proverbs chapter 30, I read verse 1 and then I'm going to read from verse 7 uh, down further. Verse 1, the words of Agur, the son of Jackie, his utterance, this man declared to ITL, to ITL and to Yukal, and then he began to talk. By the time you get to verse 7, this man Agur says, two things I request of you, deprive me not before I die. Then he said, remove falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me, lest I be full and deny you, and then I say, Who is the Lord? Or, lest I be poor and steal, and then profane the name of my God. Now, you see, this, this prayer of Agur sounds a very good prayer. Let's look at it a bit more closely. He said, There are two things I'm asking from you, O God. Please don't deny me of these two things before I die. I can imagine God saying, yes, Mr. Ago, what are you asking for? He said, number one, remove falsehood and lies far from me. I believe this is an excellent prayer. As a child of God, falsehood and lies must have no place in your life. The reason thing is because you are born of truth. And I normally say to people, those that tell lies don't believe truth. The reason the word of God does not sound true and faithful to a lot of people is because their own words are neither true nor faithful nor dependable. So when they read the promises of God, they transpose their own unfaithfulness onto the word of God, not realizing that you are dealing with a very different person whose word cannot fall to the ground. So it's important that falsehood and lies stay far away from our lives. A man of God you know, wrote a poem, he said, he said, lies bind and lies blind. He said, but the truth will make you see and the truth will make you free. I think it was Reverend Keith Moore that, 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 that wrote that. He said, the lies blind and lies bind. He said, but the truth will make you see and the truth will make you free. So, Ago is accurate on the first prayer. But now let's look at the second prayer. He said, give me neither poverty nor riches. He said, feed me with the food that is sufficient for me. That's a good prayer. Why are you praying this prayer, Mr. Ago? He said, lest I be fool and then I will deny you. And then I will say, who is the Lord? Alternatively, I may be poor and then I will steal and I will bring insult to the name of God. So you see, as you look at this prayer that Mr. Ago has prayed, it sounds like a very nice prayer. But I want you to know that there is something beyond yourself. The thing I notice with this prayer of Ago is that it's a good prayer if you are thinking only about yourself. And count the number of me's in the prayer. He said, remove falsehood and lies far from me. Neither give me poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me, lest I be fool and deny you and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. At least seven or eight times you are hearing me, 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 I, 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 my, my, my. If the only thing that you are thinking about is yourself, then the prayer of Ago is okay. Don't, God, just give me enough for myself. But I'd like you to listen. In the New Testament, there is another prayer. There is something better than the prayer of Ago. And it is the prayer of Brother Paul. Listen to what Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. Listen to this. He says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, so that you always having all sufficiency in all things, you may have abundance for every good work. Now, look what he says. 
in verse 10. He said, Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply the seed that you have sown and increase the fruit of your righteousness. Why you are enriched in all things, this is the verse 11 now, for all liberality. In other words, you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous. Now, you see, this is very different from the prayer of Mr. Ago. Mr. Ago is thinking of himself and he says, give me neither poverty nor riches. Give me enough for me. This is the small heart of a lot of people that are inside the body of Christ. But Jesus paid for something better. And come and hear the Apostle Paul bringing forth the inheritance that Jesus purchased for us. He said, God is able to do what? To make all grace, spiritual grace, financial grace, material grace, all types of grace to abound towards you. So that you, you will have all sufficiency. But apart from having all sufficiency, you will now have multiplied you know, abundance that you can use for every good work. This is the enlarged life where you don't just have enough for yourself, but there is enough for the purpose of God. There is enough to bless the poor. There is enough to give to missions. There is enough, not just enough spiritual resources to resist temptation for yourself, but sufficient fire burning inside your spirit to set other people on fire. You see, the enlarged life is multidimensional. It discusses things material, things spiritual, things ministerial. All of them are part of what God wants to do in your life. My prayer is that God will enlarge your heart. He said, as God enlarges and blesses you, he says, you will now be generous. You will be generous. You will have an look. $20 billion if you give that to me. It will not be enough for the work of the gospel because the field is the world. Notice that Brother Paul is talking about multiplication. Mr. Ago is talking about just enough for himself. You are a child of God and God has ordained the enlarged life for you. I invite you to study this thing. Meditate on it. Listen to it over and over. And you are going to notice God move you from where you are now to the place of overflow and abundance. Spiritually, in the word of God, in the place of prayer, you have much, much, much more than enough prayer for yourself that you have intercession for the nations of the earth. Intercession for other people who have need. And the same thing goes with all kinds of material resources. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, release the grace for this enlarged life upon this viewer right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time when I bring you another edition of Truth in Brief, don't forget, the bigger God gets in your eyes, the tinier your mountains will become. Remember to share this with other people. Bye-bye.